Hello folks. Happy week 12 of my really crazy hair and my opening sequences. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay, so it's week 12 of Soka making. I'm in my office because we are 3D printing armor. And I just wanted to give you all an update on uh, what's going on with the 3D printing right now. It has been interesting. So the hand plates printed beautifully. The armor bracers yesterday was going so well with supports and everything and then all of a sudden my nozzle got stuck right there and knocked this over just like that so I had to stop the print so I only have like a half of a bracer so we're trying again I have added some custom supports in there hopefully and we're making it upside down so instead of printing it like this we're going to print it like this. So it starts with the widest spot of the bracer and then ends at the smallest. We'll see how it goes. So far it's doing fine, but my 3D printer is like, I need a break, man. But yep, let's see how this one goes. I'll keep you all updated. Yeah. Hello there, folks. Sorry if you hear things in the background. I can't control that. So I'm going to quickly tell you what's going on today, right now. Um, I'm going to finish the shins, um, foam, getting that together. So this is the first bracer. Um, it's a splice between two files that have fallen over on my 3D printer. Uh, I'm very much fine with the fact that there's a big gash right there. <laughs> it's battle damage. We're moving on because I'm wasting a lot of plastic re reprinting these. So, um, I'm just gonna put my headphones um, back on, listening to my things and muting out the really terrible noise that's happening next door that I have reported. So let's hope something happens. So here's to an interesting evening, but. I have the other 3D print going for the other bracer. I did splice this in half. So, and I'm just gonna glue them together. So it's, it's weird, it's, it's a weird vibe going on over here right now, but happy Tuesday. I'll cut that out. I promise. I don't give a shit. <laughs> ah, all right. Wear your goddamn PPE. Wear your masks. That's how you die of cancer. So, when when you have a lot of work that you need to get done, you call in friends, and this whole night's just going to be sanding, and dremeling, and possibly putting some more plasti dip on some things, and maybe painting. And chaos. And chaos. <laughs> to stay up to watch WandaVision at 3 yes. in the morning. <laughs> yes! Because today's the finale. So lots of footage coming up of sanding and and dremeling and gluing, but I promise you we are safe up here with my fans and respirators and having a good time. So cheers to this Thursday night of week 12, this freaking build. Woo! But it's all turning out. It's working good. We're, we're home stretch now. We're home stretch now. Yeah.
Hello there, folks. It's Friday of week 12, and after yesterday's sanding extravaganza, we're still sanding, but probably going to be done tonight with all the sanding, which is great. I have my hand plate sandings are done, so they're ready for the paint round. I have one more round of sanding for the bracers and then one more round of uh, fill for filler primer and then they're done. <clears throat> I am going to be weathering my foam shin guards with a hot knife because I need to do that before I plasti dip them. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Same with the shoe covers. I have to weather them before I plasti dip them. So once those are plasti dipped, it is time to paint. And it is like, I'm just looking so forward to painting these. Ugh. So I think for the painting of the armor pieces, we're going to do once the plasti dips on the foam and the last layer of filler primer is on the, the um, armor bits, the bracers, I'm going to do a layer of chrome silver with my airbrush because I want to do it in a better ventilated space and not to go outside. So I'm going to set up a space for that with my airbrush, do a layer of chrome, and then I'm going to spray a layer of hairspray, um, a light two to three light hold layer um, of hairspray because that is a trick than getting some like dinged up weathering looks you can go after you do your several layers of painting you can go in with a fingernail file and kind of file off colors and then that will be underneath it's a good way to weather easy and um, looks really cool got that tip from my discord we talked about that in there and also i think it's also from um kamui uh cosplay uh her videos for that so if you're wanting more information on that i'll try my best to link it below if you'd like to see the full video on how uh, the Kamui team do that type of technique. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I just had some really good kimbap. Um, you get a lot of water. It's a weird Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday, I will try to get these done. So I'll have like a nice photo and it'll be done for the week. And then we can move on to the cloak next week. And then, oh my God, it can be done. No, I think... Once the cloak is over, we're going to have um, makeup videos, like um, a week of me testing makeup because I want to, I want to try to make the mask overlay they do in the behind the scenes for the Mandalorian for Ahsoka. I have ideas. We'll see if they work. I could always go and back to my default mode of just painting it on and doing it the other way. But I want to do the makeup for this Ahsoka with an alcohol-based airbrush orange um, that I'm still shopping around for. And then that that cover on her face to get the stencils look, lay nice and everything. I, I really want to I really want to try that. I might, might make the half face prosthetic to cover my eyebrows to go into my headpiece mainly just because I want a challenge I totally do not have to do this it might not work out I might default back to my normal way I do Ahsoka makeup which is just eyebrow plastic and regular water-based paint but I really want to try a alcohol-based good more I don't want to say natural because orange is not a natural skin tone um not so fluorescent I guess is what I'm saying so we'll see what I get with that one um but that's in the future we'll talk about that when we get to it right now Armor weathering and painting, here we go.
in here to show you all why I did the hairspray. I did the hairspray because when you weather with acrylic paint, you can easily pick up the paint underneath of it with a towel, your finger, chipping it away with a file, and it will reveal kind of a weathered look like the paint's chipping off. So that is the reason I did that, not just because I wanted the hairspray. And like when you paint, you will feel it kind of picking up. So I suggest, I, I did this with a brush because I didn't really know the color I was gonna get and I didn't wanna waste a bunch of color into the airbrush. So that's why I'm doing it with a, with a paintbrush. But I do suggest using an airbrush because it does come off easily with just a paper towel. But I really love the way this looks. That's exactly what I wanted. So I just wanted to pop in and say that's why I'm doing that. And back to your regularly scheduled painting montage. Done to a point, I need to add a top coat, um, but I'm trying to decide if I want matte or shiny. I'm probably gonna do matte, maybe shiny, I don't know. But I really dig the weathering, the difference, the color. I just love the way these look. Yes, and then having that like exposure underneath on the sides right there, that chrome coming through, I love that so much. I think that looks super cool. I wish I could have buffed out these lines a little bit more, but there got, there was a point where I was just very much done with sanding and like, it's extremely smooth to touch. It's just for some reason those lines are there and that's okay, we're moving on. But everything looks great. I'm very happy with it. I love this. So I'm gonna stop for the evening. We have the other pieces, Plasti Dipped. So that is tomorrow and yeah, fantastic. Good evening. Hi there folks. It is Saturday evening of week 12. Um, I realized I got really excited about painting and airbrushing and everything like that that I forgot to vlog before I started. So right now I'm actually finished painting the bracers and all the armor beds and I'm cleaning my airbrush right now. So I have a wonderful montage for you now in the next scene for you to watch on how I did all of that. Um, yeah, I airbrushed and painted the, everything. If you have any questions on airbrushing or painting anything, you know, leave them in the comments below. I'll happily answer them. I am a firm believer of any brush can do all painting. So if you don't have an airbrush, you can definitely do this with just a paintbrush. If you prefer to use an airbrush, you can also do that too. Um, just remember to have good tape to block off the spots that you don't want that color. <laughs> I had some spots that I should have taped off that I didn't and I was like, ooh, oops. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna clean my airbrush. If I have enough time, I'm gonna set up my studio area space to start doing some electronic work for my bracers. That's the next thing I wanna do. And then we're gonna figure out how to put it all on. 
Um, I am probably going to contact cement the leg bracers and shoe covers to my boots so they will not be removable because I, I don't like removing whatever. I just get a boots. That's for that cosplay. Perfect. So yeah, enjoy the montage of the painting and the airbrushing and all the fun stuff. Sunday of week 12 in the evening and I just scarfed down some Taco Bell so I can finish working on the LEDs for Ahsoka's bracers for this week's vlog. I don't think it's going to take me too long to put them together so that's why I kind of was like let's just jam it into week 12 vlog. I, I think it's, it'll actually be pretty streamlined. I have an idea of how everything goes together. I've been watching videos all day. We'll just see if my soldering skills are as good as I think they are. But I definitely want to come in here and talk to you guys about a very important subject that is weighing heavy on my mind right now. And that is WandaVision. So the finale happened. A girl has a brand new costume and I can't get it out of my brain. I have, as I'm recording this, asked Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube if I should be making that costume next. So I honestly want your all's opinion in the comments below, should I make that costume next? And that's not that I'm taking Rose completely off the docket. She's going to be made. I have the fabric for her. I just have no fuel to make her right now. <clears throat> I just, when... I am a hype cosplayer, okay? I think a lot of you actually do know this if you've followed me for a long time because when when a costume drops, I will just clear the sketch and make it. That's exactly what happened with Ahsoka. We are nearing the, we are rounding third base, almost sliding to home right now with Ahsoka. We are almost done. And Wanda's brand new costume that is just fire. For some reason that video just stopped recording. Let's hope this one's recording. So anyways, Wanda's outfit just dropped in my lap and I I just love the look of it. It's very reminiscent on how I made my Captain Marvel outfit. 
it's something I really want to do. The hype is real right now. I have ideas. I know where to get the fabric. I know how I'm going to work the foam. I'm already 3D printing her crown right now because I wanted to do like a teaser look of something to WandaVision just because I love that show. So I very late bought the STL file from that <laughs> and a wig off of Amazon. So something's happening with Wanda. We're going to get some kind of content from me. I promise it'll be like a teaser shot, but it'll be fun. But making the whole outfit, should I do it? Tell me in the comments below. Okay, let's end that and start some soldering work, LED electronic work for Ahsoka's bracers. Cross your fingers. <laughs>after many a trial turns out three of these can't go on one of these so i have to put this one on its separate circuit and somehow fit it underneath of my bracer we'll see but two work quite well on one of these guys which is two coin cell batteries here so i'm reworking how this is going to fit all under here but i think it'll work this will all work out. it's Sunday evening I need to stop this stop working so I can actually make this vlog but we have our pieces of color in our bracers 
we have the light circuit figured out and everything's looking pretty awesome. So I'm gonna just go ahead and <laughs> stop right here because I do need to attach these to the inside somehow. That's gonna require a little more engineering. Um, but I'm very happy with these. I think the green light was a smart move. Yeah, guys, thanks for thanks for helping me on that. Um, awesome. So to wrap up this week's vlog, thank you for joining on a, the Armor Week. And um, please tell me below if you think I should make Scarlet Witch from WandaVision outfit. Um, it's kind of already half happening right now, but I want to hear what you guys think and what you all thought of the outfit. Because I might make an outfit breakdown video about that because I have thoughts. It's just mm, so good. Um, other than that, join my Discord if you sub to my channel. Love to have you in there. I post whip pictures of all my projects all the time, more than what you see here. So, without further ado, I'm ending this vlog. And I will see you all next week for wrapping up the armor pieces. Like, putting closures and things and how to put it on me. And gluing all of the bits on the boots. And working on and hopefully finishing her cloak. And then we will be done. Holy cow. All right, guys. See y'all next week. Bye.